What's up ladies and gentlemen here on YouTube, welcome back to episode 28 of the Kaiser Chiefs career with guys and this may very well be the final episode, I don't know. We have four games left including the Champions League final and we probably will get through all of it today. I do want to play out the rest of the games just to see when I'll lift the trophy and then after that I might uh, some. So if I lift it here against Nottingham I'll some Chelsea and Leeds. If I lift it at Chelsea I'll some Nottingham and uh, I'll some Leeds sorry. Like I was saying, and then I have the Champions League final, guys. So with that being said, let's get straight on this game against Nottingham Forest. It's going to be a banger. Here we go, guys. This is the team we're playing against Nottingham. Mount is going to the left. Pilliat's coming into Cam. And Zaha's going on the bench, guys. And this is just for the team that has been with us through everything. If we do win the league here, I want Pilliat to be there to lift the trophy with the team. And that's why he can't be on the bench. I mean, he still would do it on the bench, but I really want him to start. This might be the Premier League winner, and Ballet has been through with us through thick and thin. He's always the man who clutches up when we need him. So he's gonna start this game, and let's see what happens after this game, guys. Come on, guys! Here, kick off at Ivy Lane. We could possibly win the league in this game, so let's not miss around. Let's just get the job done. Easy as we can. They get past uh, two and Zebe somehow, and they've just slid uh, slid one past Dean Henderson at his near post. Um, I don't understand what's going on right now, but we are 1-0 down to Nottingham Forest. Here we go, great interception from two and Zebe. Now it's Mount who gives a great ball for Fede Valverde. He can run it here, does he have the pace to beat Pachero? He does have the pace. He's still running it here. He cuts back for Billiat, he turns and shoots. Oh my word, how has Billiat missed that? He's the last person I'd expect to miss that kind of a shot. Cristiano Ronaldo sees Mason Mount making a run. It's Mount now finding Fede, finds Ronaldo who shoots! And ow, was that the save or a miss? He's, he's missed, how are all of my strikers missing? He sees Ronaldo making a run now, but he gives a ball to Mount, why is everyone playing to Mount? It's Valverde now, who shoots! And uh, I don't even know that was a miss or a deflection. It's 1-0 yet, half time at Ivy Lane, we are 1-0 down and all of my players have put, like not put in their shooting boots today, they like left it in the locker room, so let's hope they can change their boots now and actually come and score some goals in the second half, like yo. It's Neves now on the ball, Neves can run it here. Neves is Billiat making a run, he gives a ball through for Billiat. It's come up Billiat now, near post shot, and he can't get it in and Mount can't get the rebound either. That was annoying. Here we go, it's Greenwood now. What can Greenwood do here? He's trying to skill through the box. He finds Cristiano, Billiat, he shoots, and finally we get the equalizer. It's Kama Billiat. Greenwood did well to find Ronaldo, and he was unselfish, didn't shoot and found Billiat. And now we are 1-1, guys. Billiat, who scored from the start when we started the Premier League, now scores what could possibly be a decider in when we win the Premier League, guys. Here we go, Valverde finds Mount. Mount is going to run it here. He sees Billiat making a run. It's Billiat now. Billiat's in on goal. It's Billiat! Billiat! In the 85th minute, Billiat scores the winner. That could very well be the goal that wins us the Premier League. Come on, Billiat gets his brace in this game. And you know, when you need a man to score, when it means everything, when the trophy's on the line, Billiat's gonna bang that one home. Look at that. Always banging it in the top wins. Come on, Billiat. Beautiful. There we go, it's Mount on the ball now. We may even have one more attack before the whistle blows. It's still Mount. He sees a ball through for Billiat. It's Billiat now. It's still Billiat. He shoots. Oh, and it's a hat-trick. Come on, Billiat. In stoppage time. The 91st minute. He scores his hat-trick. And if we win the Premier League right now, guys, that's a hat-trick for Billiat on, the, on basically the end of the Premier League for us. The league winning day. When they lift the trophy, Billiat gets a hat-trick. Just like when Kaiser Chiefs came to the Premier League, he got a hat-trick. Come on now. That was beautiful from Billiat. Hat-trick it is. Here we go guys, full time at Ivy Lane and we may have just won the Premier League, I'm not sure though. Let's see what happens here with the celebrations. Please tell me we did. Because others I'm going to be embarrassed that we did so much work and didn't even win it. Surely they're celebrating like this, surely we won the Prem. So guys, with that game we didn't even win the Premier League but there's two games left of the season and Liverpool's on 80 points. And we're on 87 points, which means even if we lose both and they win both, it will be 86-87. So, I don't know why we didn't get the league. I guess we're going to, uh, against Chelsea, we're going to get the league title, guys. So, yeah. Guys, I've actually simmed this far into the game. And I wanted to sim it so that uh, 
uh, we could win the trophy. I could just jump in at the end. But now it looks like we can actually win this game off the sim. So I'm going to jump in here at the 56th minute. Mountain Billiard scored for us. And let's just win this game and see what happens. They are really looking to attack here. And Pulisic makes it 2-2. I think I should have just stayed in the sim. Because I'm clearly not focused here. But anyways, let's see what we can do right here off the restart. You can see a ball for Billiard too. It's Pagliat in on goal against Kepa. And Kepa makes a great save actually. What the hell? I didn't expect him not to score that. Pagliat always scores those. That was a great save from Kepa. What the hell? We go guys. We throw it to Chelsea here at the Stamford Bridge. Uh, maybe if I stayed in the sim we could have gotten a win. Uh, I don't know if we won the league now. We should have won the league. We should have won the league surely. Yeah. Why? They're celebrating like crazy. Guys, they didn't lift the trophy again and I'm getting worried that I actually missed the trophy lift. I mean, there's one more game and we are 8 points above Liverpool. Surely, if I, uh, surely at the end of this Leeds game we lift the trophy, guys, because... Uh, please, I can't, you can't tell me I missed the trophy lift, guys. Please, please, please. Here we go, guys. The last 10 minutes in the game against Leeds. We are 3-2 up from the sim. And play, I just want to lift the Premier League, guys. Like, honestly, if I can't lift it after this game, that means we missed the trophy lift. And I can't even think of where it would be because until that game against Nottingham, you couldn't say that we were going to win the league because if we lost all our games, then Liverpool could have won if they won all the games. So surely not. So guys, full time here at Al Jaid. We win 3-2 in our final game of the Premier League. That puts us on 91 points. And please, surely, surely we lift the trophy now, guys. Surely. Here we go guys, this is what we've been waiting for, the champions of the Premier League, Kaiser Chiefs are going to lift the Premier League trophy now, come on, we've been waiting for this moment guys, Dean Henderson our captain is going to come and lift this trophy, and honestly we've been waiting for this for how long guys, Dean Henderson, and there it is guys, Champions of England, guys. Champions of the Premier League, guys. Our Chiefs. We end the season on 91 points with a win over Leeds, a 3 2 win. And this is it, guys. Oh, this is what we've been aiming for since the start of this career mode. And we finally done it. Guys, the Chiefs have come to the Premier League and they've won it. With how many points above Liverpool as well? Look at Dean Innocent running there. Very happy guy now. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. Look at the trimmings there on the on the trophy because of us guys. Uh, white and orange and black because it's our trophy guys. Come on. You love to see that guys. We've won the Prem. Check this out guys. Here we are posing for a photo as the Premier League champions guys. Unfortunately, Pagliat couldn't uh, get a goal in this game. He was the one who started it all off here for Kaiser Chiefs in the Prem. And I wanted him to be the one who ended it all. But it doesn't really matter. Look at this. We had 25% position. But we won 3-2. We never missed a single shot. And with that being said, guys. We finally won the Premier League. Finally, finally. And in this episode, Pelliat himself did get a trick. So let's go to the final post-match press conference of the Premier League. In the Kaiser Chiefs career mode. Here we go, guys. They're talking about Mount now. Um, he did cap a good team display. He got a brace in this game. It was perfect from him. But I really want him to ask me about winning the league. Just one goal between the teams. Uh, are you happy with today's performance? Of course I am. We played. He won the league. Why, why are they not talking about that? This is twice you've beaten Leeds. Do you have the edge on them? Oh, my word. They don't even talk about us winning the league. This is useless. Guys, we may have now won the Premier League, but that doesn't mean it's all over yet, guys. It's not all fun and games yet, because we have a final against Liverpool in the Champions League, guys. And you know our finals against Liverpool go. So we're going to have to play our all year. We're going to have to do everything we can in order to beat Liverpool here in the Champions League final. Here we go, guys. It's the Champions League final, guys. We came here to get a win, guys. We came here to get another piece of silverware for the season, guys. And we're playing Liverpool in the Champions League final. Let's see what we can do against them. We have to pay them back for everything they've done to us in all the other competitions this season. Here we go, guys. Liverpool vs. Kaiser Chiefs in the Champions League final, guys. And we are playing here at a stadium that I'm not... That I don't know. I'm not aware of the stadium. I think it's in Turkey by the name of it. And we are playing for this trophy, guys. As you can see, there the two different team stripes on the trophy. Here we go. You can see all of our struggles coming here through the knockout rounds. And as you can see, we've been scoring plenty of goals. And we really want to win here, guys. We really want to take this trophy home. Because this is what we deserve for what we've done the whole season. 
Pagliat, Ronaldo, Mount, all the boys need to step up today. Champions League anthem playing in the background and I think it's about time to get going with this Champions League final. Come on now. Here we go, it's Pagliat on the ball now. We have possession early on here. Mount gives a great ball for Kama Pagliat. Pagliat holds it up, finds Mount who shoots. That's Mason Mount, six minutes into the Champions League final. Kaiser Chiefs open the scoring and Mason Mount who's been having a brilliant episode scores again here. He scores in the Champions League final. Pagliat gets an assist. Oh, you love to see it guys. Six minutes in and we're already leading here. Great link up play from Pagliat and Mount. Great goal from them. It's Liverpool on the attack now with Mo Salah. Tuanzebe stops him and Salah goes flying but there's no foul there. It's still Liverpool on the attack and they've done amazingly to equalise here. I mean, when are you ever going to keep Liverpool out? Bobby Firmino scores and I didn't expect a clean sheet here. But I didn't expect to concede so early again. I wanted to score at least once before it happened. But it's okay guys, it's 1-1 now. Oxley chamberlain just don't give it to Bobby Firmino because for some reason that guy's a lethal striker. It's Firmino now. But we do get it away. It's Mason Mount who can run it here. Mount gives a through ball for Kama Pagliat. It's Pagliat who's going to run it here. Pagliat in front of Ellison and Pagliat scores. Slides one past Ellison. Pagliat scores in the Champions League final now. Makes Kaza Chiefs 2-1 up. Pagliat scores everywhere guys. This man is cool as, you, cool as you will guys. He will stand in front of any goal, any goalkeeper. And he will score that goal when you need him the most. Like we've been saying the whole season. Like we've been saying since the start of the series. Pagliat always scores. And he's just broken the Champions League record of goals. He scored 18 goals. Pull on the attack. What can they do here? They find Bobby Firmino. That's a ball for Mane. He tries to pass one in. But Dean Innocent is all over it. It's about to be half time here. But can we get the goal before? We cannot. It's half time here at the whatever stadium we're at. We are winning 2-1 here. A goal from Mount and Pagliat makes us 2-1 up. And we have to win this in the second half, guys. Absolute must. Mount is going to go down the middle now. It's still Mount. He's going to see a ball for Pagliat. And Pagliat's going to take it here. It's Pagliat versus Virgil van Dijk. Pagliat cuts inside. He finds Mount. Fede Valverde now. He's in on goal. Fede Valverde! 3-1 in the Champions League final. We're running away with it here. Fede Valverde scores. He's also had a terrific season for us. And now it goes to show by who's scoring in the Champions League final. I'd love Ronaldo to get the goal, but playing from the left wing, I doubt he's going to get a lot of chances. Here we go. It's Mount now from Cristiano Ronaldo's ball. And he gives a ball through for Kama Pagliat. It's Pagliat now. In on goal. And Pagliat hits the post, but Greenwood tries to follow it up. He can't get the volley right. Oh, that would have been so amazing to just end it with a Pagliat goal. Unlucky. But here we go. It's Greenwood on the ball. He finds Mount. Doesn't work out. And Liverpool want to attack one more time, even though it's inevitable. Ah, they don't even get through. An interception now. But Verde finds Mount. Mount's going to run it. He sees a ball for Greenwood. Greenwood is in on goal. But he finds Pagliat who's going to slot that one home. 4-1 here in the Champions League final. And Pagliat grabs himself a brace. Come up, Pagliat. 19 goals in the Champions League, I do believe now. Oh, and there he goes. The top scorer, the record breaker. Come up, Pagliat in the final once again. We beat Liverpool 4-1 here. This was payback for everything they've done to us. There we go guys, full time here against Liverpool in the Champions League final. We win 4-1, a convincing win. And Liverpool had nothing on us this time. Before all Liverpool did was beat us, destroy us, knock us out of cups, beat us in finals. But now, just like we took the six points of them in the Premier League, we take the Champions League trophy home guys. Come on, guys are Chiefs. Here we go guys, it's time to lift the trophy. And you know the man who's going to do it. It's going to be Dean Henderson. He deserves it. In this game, he showed what a real captain is made out of, guys. When he made that double save, he showed what real captain material is. Dean Henderson, he lifts his trophy now for Kaiser Chiefs. There we go, guys. Champions League glory is all ours guys. We worked so hard for this and now we have finally won the trophy. Champions League final, Dean Henderson is running around with it. You love to see that the captain himself, he really proved himself now. In the previous finals against Liverpool, he messed up. It's because of his mistakes that we couldn't win. But now he really showed his class. 
And we finally won. There's the nice fireworks here at the stadium showing us that we won. And now the boys are teeing up for the photo with the Champions League trophy. Because that's exactly what we are. Champions League champions, guys. Oh, you love to see that. Come on now. Look at the boys. They've come a long way since the start of the career mode. They've all grown up so much. They started out, they're just youngsters. They aren't even that old. I, d I came up with a team of youngsters at the start of this career mode. And look how much they've grown. And they've grown to come and win the Champions League and the Premier League, guys. I'm very proud of them. There's nothing else I can say. So guys, as you can see here, even though we didn't have a top scorer in the Premier League, Ronaldo, Balliat and Valverde all ended on 16 goals. And uh, Balliat played only 20 games, so you could argue that he could have become top scorer if he played every game like, Balliet, uh, by, like Valverde and Ronaldo. And you know, Rashford, he broke the champ uh, Champions League record and the Premier League record in our Man United career mode. He got about, what, 33 goals in the Premier League to break the record. So he did that. Pelliat never played enough to do that. So that's why I'm going to give him that excuse. And if you come to the Champions League, guys, um, actually, where is it? You wait for Champions League. Pelliat was the top scorer. 19 goals in 12 matches, guys. That's absolutely extraordinary. He got 19 goals, one off of Rashford, who also broke the record. So, Pelliat and Rashford both broke the record in the Champions League now, in two of our career modes. Pelliat, the 31-year-old from Zimbabwe, scoring 19 goals in the Champions League, winning the Golden Boot. Come on now. That's, that's historic, guys. That's the, he's made history now. One more goal in any of the games and he could have equaled Rashford's total. But it's good because he still broke it. Valverde also got 8 goals. That's commendable in the Champions League. As Pelliat scored most of them, Valverde getting that much. We really did score a lot in the Champions League, guys. Ronaldo also got 5. And you love to see it, guys. Simple as that. Guys, as you can see, the development for the players, they were really good. Ronaldo obviously went down. He's 37. But it was excellent this season. Zaha stayed the same. Pelliat went up by two ratings despite being 31. That's brilliant from him. All the youth players obviously went up by a bit. Even Tobo, who never really played, went up. Here we go. As you can see, all the youth players went up. Yimura went up by a bit. Greenwood went up by three. Brilliant from Greenwood. Mount went up by four. He also almost got to 90 rated. Neves went up even. Valverde almost went up to 90 rated. A lot of things happened, guys. Tinkake, really proud of this man. He went up by a bit. Damari Gray stayed the same. And you see here, guys, Reese James, our whole defense went up, guys. Our whole defense did brilliantly this season. And our keeper, guys, Jamal Lewis, he also went up. And then our keeper, guys, Dean Henderson, he was brilliant this season. Went up by five ratings. Actually, no, four, sorry. I thought it was five. And what can I say? We had a brilliant keeper this season, guys. He had a five star weak foot, even. You'll love to see that. Guys, and now it's time to get into talking stats. Ronaldo played 45 games, 29 goals, 13 assists. It's very underwhelming for a guy of his stature, but it's okay. Zlatan even got two goals and an assist in 17 games. I don't even remember when he scored. Crespo got a goal in two games. This man, he's a youth player and he scored. Zaha, 10 goals in 41 games. It, he was a bit underwhelming. Pelliat played 37 games and got 39 goals and 18 assists. This man is always insane. He barely played this season. Like, Ronaldo always took top spot. But this man really performed. I should have just kept him in the whole season. Who needs Ronaldo? This man carried our team, like always. Another man who I'm really proud of. If I just go down, I'll actually get to him a bit. But as you see, a green we got 11 and 12, but underwhelming. Himura got a goal in four assists. Pretty good for youth player. He played a lot of games. Mount, 12 goals, 16 assists. He only really picked up at the end of the season. Uh, Neves, 7 goals, 15 assists in 53 games. Valverde, he really impressed me this season. 28 goals, 15 assists, guys. He played the most out of the whole team, I think. Him and maybe Henderson played the most, actually, but he got 56 games. I was really proud of Valverde this season, he really made me proud. Correa the underwhelming season, Dinkake did really well, 9 assists for youth player, come on. He's like what, 16, 17? Frosla, he got a couple of clean sheets, I'm proud of him. Reese James, my whole defense, 2 and Zebe, Alaba, James, White even, White was really good. Ngezana even, I'm proud of him too. Plom when he came, he did a couple of good things here. Sassman even. Jamal Lewis, he got 21 clean sheets. This man got the most clean sheets. This man was actually carrying out of fence. He's an unsung hero. You never really see him. And then Henderson had 63 applications. It's not even applications, appearances. Why do I keep saying applications? And 22 clean sheets, guys. So that's the, that is the stats for the season, the overview. Yeah, that's how the season went, guys. And we won the Prem and the Champions League.
So guys, this episode was quite a lengthy one. As you can see, we won the Prem in the Champions League. We did the season overview. Obviously, it's going to be a bit lengthy. And as you can see, we got 91 points in the Premier League to win the league. And we uh, won the Champions League final. So it was really good for us, guys. We had a really great season. I really enjoyed playing this career mode. I hope you guys did enjoy it too. It was really amazing. And play of the tournament in the Champions League was obviously going to be Pilliat, guys. All the headlines are full of Pilliat and Kaiser Chiefs. And yeah, it was really fun bringing guys the Chiefs in, trying to win all the major competitions with them, which we did do eventually in the second season. So that's really good, guys. I think we really did well here in this career mode. We only uh, cut it down to two seasons. I mean, you could say we didn't win the FA or Carabao, but we didn't do that with United either, so that would be unfair. Guys, the Chiefs, you did well, guys. I'm proud of all the guys, even the guys that were originally in the squad. They all did well. Everybody in this team did well this season, guys, and in this career mode. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a big fat like, thumbs up here, guys, and subscribe with the bell on so you never miss another video. This is going to be the last of the new content until the ne until next year guys i'm working on a siege montage i don't know if it's going to be out by the end of the year but next year definitely stay tuned but at the start of the year we're going to have a new logo a new banner we're going to have a video coming out for the yearly goals a face uh, face reveal maybe a montage coming tomorrow guys i'm going to see if i do it and all the good stuff is coming guys so this may be the last it was uh, the last video that i make for the year i might stream at the end of the year but we'll see about that so guys just in case I might, i'm gonna tell you guys this might be the last video of the year i might be taking a break until the new year and it's really been a fun year guys i didn't expect to grow this much in the couple of months that i started like recording and stuff but i did and um by next year i really my uh, well i'm gonna tell you my goals at the start of the year so with all of this being said i don't want to speak too much if you guys did enjoy this please leave a like i said it already but please subscribe with the bell on guys it will really mean a lot to me and i will see you guys next time.